How long have you studied English? One day? One week? One year? Ten years? Hi, it's Lee. Welcome to another Learn English with Lee grammar video. This video, it's the third video looking at present perfect. Okay, so I hope you've watched the previous two videos, present perfect for life experience and present perfect for finished time. So now this video is going to look at present perfect for unfinished time. What does it mean, unfinished time? Well, it means actions which started in the past, but they're still happening now. They didn't finish yet. For example, me, my life. I live in London, but I am not from London, okay? I'm from Birmingham, the second biggest city in the UK, not Manchester. Manchester is more famous, but Birmingham is the second biggest city. And I came to London 12 years ago, okay? That's it, I came to London 12 years ago, past action. I still live in London now, present. So we had the past action connected to the present, present perfect. Okay, so let's have a look how we would make this sentence to describe my situation. So I have lived, because we know the structure, it's always subject plus have, the auxiliary verb have, the helping verb, but if it's he, she or it, we change have to has. I have, you have, he has, she has, it has. We have, they Okay, plus the PP, the PP, the past participle, the third form of the verb. So live, lived, lived. Live, easy example, regular verb. If it's an irregular verb, uh, write, wrote, written, it's more difficult. So we need to memorize the irregular past participles to make present perfect correctly. That's very important. Okay, so I have lived in London. Now we need a time thing. We need a word to introduce this time. Any ideas? In? On? At? No. For. I have lived in London for 12 years. 12 years ago, I came to London. I live in London now. Past action, connected to the present. I have lived in London for 12 years. Present perfect for unfinished time. Okay, very good. How about 12 years ago, this year is 2017, so 12 years ago was 2005, okay? Can I say I have lived in London for 2005? No, I can't. I need another word. What word in there? In, on, at, no, since. I have lived in London since 2005. I have lived in London for 12 years. So both of these sentences are perfect. But what's the difference between for and since? Can you see the difference? Well, we use for when we talk about how long. 12 years is how long I lived here. 2005 is when, when I came, when I started 
living. So for how long? So for 12 years, for three hours, for 12 minutes, since 2005, since yesterday morning, since uh, seven o'clock last night. Okay, very good. So that's, that's it. Okay, that's perfect, very good. That's for the, the answer. How can we make this into a question? Okay, we remember from the previous two videos, you take the subject and the auxiliary verb and change them. So I have, have you. Have you lived in London for 12 years? Have you lived in London since 2005? These questions are grammatically perfect. But, sounds strange. Why? Why do they sound strange? Have you lived in London for 12 years? Well, it's strange because it's a question. We don't know this time. Have you lived in London for 12 years? No. I've lived in London for 13 years. Okay, and it sounds strange. It sounds strange because have you lived in is a closed question. A yes, no question. So in this situation, it's better if we have an open question. Okay, because we don't know this time. At all. So an open question uses who, what, when, where, why, how. Okay? So there's no yes, no. So for example, what time is it? No. Uh, half past twelve. What's your name? Yes. Lee. Okay? So who, what, when, where, why, how are open questions. And in this situation, it will sound more natural to use an open question. Okay, so we're asking an open question about the time. So it's how long. So how long? Then the change. Then the verb. in LDN, London. Okay, so now we have an open question. How long have you lived in London? I've lived in London for 12 years. I've lived in London since 2005. Okay. So it sounds much more natural when we're asking a question about the time. How long have you taught English? How long have you studied English? How long have you lived in uh, your city, for example? So how long then? The auxiliary verb have and the subject. But remember, change the have to has if the subject is he, she or it. How long has he lived in London? Plus the verb phrase. How long have you lived in London? How long has he lived in London? I've lived in London for 12 years. He has lived in London since 2005. Perfect. Okay, good. So we've got the meaning. Good. We've got the form. Good. Pronunciation. Okay, remember, for present perfect, when we speak, we always contract the auxiliary verb. So, I have will be I've. I've lived. I've lived in London for 12 years. I've lived in London since 2005. It sounds much more natural, doesn't it? How about the question? Can we contract the auxiliary in the question? Yes, we can. So, I wouldn't say how long have... Sorry. Writing and talking at the same time, bad idea. 
How long of? How long of? How long have you lived in London? I've lived in London for 12 years. And also, if the auxiliary verb is has, how long has? How long has he lived? He's lived in London for 12 years. So the meaning, form, pronunciation. We are done. Okay, we've looked at present perfect for life experience, finished time, unfinished time, meaning, form, pronunciation. So much, so much, a lot of information there. And it's very important that you start practicing these um, situations and these meanings in order to really understand it and really produce it correctly. So please, comment section. Make some example sentences. I can check them and give you some feedback. If you have any questions, comment section. And I'm very happy to answer them because I know it's very, very important that you understand all of these situations very, very well if you want to produce this language correctly and then move on to the next level. Present perfect continuous and the next level past perfect and the next level, past perfect, continuous, yeah? So present perfect, super, super important. Okay, I really hope this has helped. Any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.